Hey guys, welcome to day four of the Squat Mobility Challenge. We're almost there, guys. Uh, today we're going to be working on the inner thighs of the leg, the adductors, um, to open up those legs a little bit. Once again, guys, the squat's a very complex movement. Not only do we need to work on areas that are directly affected, but just getting the whole joint, the whole hip motion, ankles, we need to get everything moving as best as it can with all the muscles, even if they don't seem directly related. These guys are, because as we go down, get that deep squat position, it's gonna put a little more stress on those adductors, which will limit the deep, deep squat, and can also get a little more rounding there at the bottom. What we're gonna first start out in, guys, is just a frog pose. Um, this is gonna be modified to however far you can go into this position. Um, if this already starts to feel tight, just like that, we can stop there, but I want you to go out as far as you can until you feel a nice stretch there. So for me, that's about it right there. I'm starting to feel a stretch. Um, for this one, I'm gonna be doing the frog position, but we're gonna do pails and rails in it. Um, I'll explain that in a second. Um, the first step of the pails and rails is just to sit passively for about two minutes. If this is too big of a stretch for you, just shoot for one minute um, or just one to two minutes. We want to shoot for two minutes, but like I said, if that's too stressful, if it's too painful, as far as a too stretchy, um, then we'll go for one minute here. After that two minutes or one minute has passed, what we'll already be doing is the pales contraction, um, which is going to be basically squeezing the knees into the ground. Um, we're doing this for a total of 15 seconds, but it's going to be kind of a ramp up. I want you to go from about 20% contraction up to your max voluntary contraction with a slow ramp up. And I want you to hold that max contraction for five seconds. So what we're gonna be doing here, we're gonna start it. We're gonna squeeze into the ground, about 20 seconds, building up, about 60, 80. And here we're gonna have our max safest voluntary contraction whatever you feel like you should be working you should feel your adductors really pushing you may feel a little shaky once that 15 seconds is up we're immediately without rest going to squeeze the opposite side so squeezing your glutes all the outsides of your legs and you're going to be trying to pull your legs apart farther dropping you deeper down to the stretch if you want to put like a slide or something under your knees so your knees can spread a little farther as you pull that works perfectly so Say we're doing the, the pails, the squeezing into the ground. We're at 14 and 15. We're immediately gonna just squeeze the glutes. Trying to pull farther and deeper into that stretch. And we're gonna hold this contraction, really squeezing, even though you're gonna feel the glutes squeezing, you're gonna feel stretching those adductors as well. We're gonna hold this for 15 seconds. Once that 15 seconds is up, immediately relax and try to relax into a nice, deep stretch. For this second round, we're just gonna hold it for one minute, and then we'll go through that same pails and rails contraction, both 15 seconds, and then that'll be it for this one. So then we're just gonna start off with two rounds. Um, I want them to be very intentional, very max effort, just like we showed, and then slowly come back out of that. That can be a little bit more, more difficult stretch, um, so make sure you just relax into it. Do what you can. Um, obviously, give a lot of effort, but just kind of do what you're able to do. Okay, guys, so the next one we're going to be doing is a Sideline, which just means we're gonna be laying on our side here. It's a half hip car, or we'll just say hip abduction, with a knee hinge. So this leg can bottom leg can go straight. Our top leg, once again, arm out, so we're not rotating at all as such. We're gonna come here. We're gonna bring our leg into max hip flexion. Max hip abduction without rolling. So our hips are nice and level. So stay hip flexed, stay abducted. And then we're gonna do a knee hinge. 
just like that. You should feel a little stretch in the hamstrings, you feel your hip flexors working, maybe a little stretch in the adductor area. We're going to do five reps of the knee hinge right here. And remember, as you knee hinge, I don't want your hip coming down so your leg comes up. As you knee hinge, the hip level should not move. It should only be the knee that's moving. So after five, come back down, take a little rest, you can switch sides. After those five knee hinges though, we're gonna do that as well five times. So then we can switch sides, it'll probably be the best to give this side a little break. But we'll come up, and we're just gonna do five more like this. Once again, this should be intentional. Um, you should be struggling a little bit more. Um, then I look like I am. I'm not putting as much effort into it because I'm talking as well. Um, but that's the one we'll be working on for that. Okay, the last uh, more movement we're going to be doing is a sumo squat. So this one is going to be here. Same thing like a sumo deadlift as far as foot position. Um, but with the squat now, we're just going to be straight down into a squat. I want you to push your knees basically as far out as you can the entire time and then keeping them as far out on the way back. Only go as far as you feel able. Towards the bottom, you will start to feel a lot of stretching, pulling in the inner thigh, uh, deep adductor area. Just go as far as you feel able. Don't push it. Trust your body. So we're going to be going here. Keep those knees as far out as we can, torso upright. Start to feel a little stretch there. And then keep them pushed out as we come back up. Again. Little side view here. Feet wide, toes pointed out. Put your knees lined up with your toes or a little lateral to your toes for this one. Guys, if you want, you can also get as close to a wall as you can and that'll make sure you're doing it right as well. That's also a good cue just to make sure you're getting max abduction of those knees uh, to make sure you're getting the most out of that movement as possible. Okay guys, that's a wrap for day four. Remember, tag us, um, hashtags, uh, so you can be entered into the contest. Make sure you guys are um, keeping up with everything, doing all the days, so you get those max results after day five. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow.